Blackmagic Design has released version 20.2 for DaVinci Resolve and with this update you're going to be able to import ProRes RAW in DaVinci Resolve which is going to be a big one for all of the colorists and digital imaging technicians, DITs on set, which I am one of those as well. Because whenever we have ProRes RAW, either if it's a 12-bit RAW recorded from FX3 or ProRes RAW from the Inspire 3, we always have to do the conversions to be able to import it into DaVinci Resolve. So in this video, I will import ProRes RAW clip in DaVinci Resolve and test it out how it works so you can follow along with me. Let's just jump into it. So I have opened DaVinci Resolve and I will create a new project and I will call it ProRes RAW. and I will create it. So I will right click here, I will go on import media and then I have this folder and this clip is ProRes RAW. If I go down, you can see the codex time code Apple ProRes RAW. I will open it and I will say don't change. There you go. Before you were not able to import it and I will go to the edit page now, click on this and then I will go to metadata and you can see it's Apple Pro Restore HQ. Now I will bring it to my timeline so I can go to color page and see the features. And I'm gonna go to the color page now and here in the draw, I will go on camera and I will change it from camera metadata to clip. And now you have the settings here. So first of all, you have the plugin which is only standard and then you have ISO. You can change all the ISOs from the camera. So basically it's from 50 to 25,600 because that's the ISO range of DJI Inspire 3 and this clip was being shot on DJI Inspire 3. And then after that you have raw to log conversion options. So basically if I open it you can go on none and then you can go on HLG. You have option to go Apple Log, Apple Log 2, Blackmagic Design, Film Gen 5, Canon Log 2, Cinema Gamut, and then DJ D-Log, which I will go for. Fujifilm, F-Log, Nikon, Panasonic, Sony, S-Log 3 as well. So I will go for DJI D-Log, which is the default. And then I will do a color space transform here to show you guys how you can get it correctly in Rec 709. So I'm just gonna come here and I'm gonna choose DJI D-Gamut as the input color space. And then in input gamma, I'm gonna go for DJI D-Log. After that, I will uh, go on output color space and I will choose Rec 709. And then uh, Gamma should be 2.4 for the broadcast. There you go. So now our image is looking pretty much in Rec 709. And if you want to create a look, you can go on and create one. Now, I hope this video was helpful for you. And in case you have any more questions, please put them in comments and I will be more than happy to reply to those. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.